restlessness The heart of stone I sometimes get The things I've done for foolish pride For me that's never satisfied The face that's in the mirror When I don't like what I see I guess that's just the cowboy in me we ride and never worry about the fall I guess that's just the cowboy in us all Well, the ice conditions allowed for us to get my shack out into about 65 feet of water to do a little bit of toad fishing. Um, you're going to see that we get into them pretty good. Uh, between the nine people that I had with me and the three or two other people that Taylor had with him fishing down the lake from us for a total of 12 people we caught close to 60 fish about six or seven brookies and the rest were all togue that's not an exaggeration um, we really did catch 50 plus togue you're not gonna see all of them on here because I simply couldn't get around to everybody while we had three or four flags up at a time and I was trying to fish myself do a little bit of jigging um, so I just couldn't get around to everybody and see every fish that was caught. It would have been impossible. Not to mention, traps were pretty scattered and my sled wasn't running that great. Ended up pulling the recoil out of it, so I had to start it by hand by rolling the clutch wheel over every time, which wasn't fun. But, uh, wouldn't be fishing if something didn't break. Um, we're going to roll right into the first clip, which is going to be a brookie that Taylor and his group got on GoPro underneath the ice, they played it for a little bit just to get a cool little underwater shot and then we're going to roll right into the toad catches and my one brookie catch um, you're going to see names and fish um, links come up on the screen or at least for my brook trout the rest are just going to say toad because like I said I didn't have much time to film them all let alone um, measure them all especially if we were letting a lot of them go and um, you're not going to see name and fish titles for each one because I only did it for one person. I mean each person at least once. Um, besides myself because one was a brook trout and one was a toad. I didn't want people to get confused. So just keep that in mind. Another thing is I threw the discretionary clip in here again like we always do. However, we are trying to get the foul language completely out of our work in the future. Um, I threw it in there this time in case a couple snuck by, uh, which I think a, prob a few probably did, um, but we're, we're working on it, so here we go. He's already got two. This would be the third. Huh? I think I missed him. I think you missed, I missed him. him. Oh, I haven't got him. Thank. You're all done for today. Pull this one. That's a good one. I know whose hole I'm using. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, won't. he won't pull that. All, all in this one hole. hole? Yep. Nice. Kind of nice. hard to see, but my Uncle Troy's got one on down there. He just missed one. On one of these closest traps, I'm jigging or I'd go over there, but he's got one on while he was fighting the other one, that flag went up. So you can kind of see him going hand over fist here. I'm jigging. Mm, I don't know if he lost that one too or not. Nope, he got it. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, I got another one on. Got another one on! Got one! Holy sh- fighting pretty good. I don't know if it's gonna have any size to it or not, but... Holy... They don't want to come up! Holy crap! Oh, horse and too much. Oh, here he comes. I got a got a visual. I got a visual. Here he comes. Try and get his head in the hole. Yeah, I don't know if you can see him flashing around or not, but. We got another trap peeler. He's on his way out. See that one I just got? No. I might have you. Do you? How long is yours? 22. You got tape on you? No, it's in my bag. Still going. Still going. Still going. Still there, I know it was, it's still spinning. He's gonna have a lot of slack. Should. There you go. Keep coming with it. They peel that much line out and it starts sinking on its own. That's when you're bringing in all that slack and you're not feeling it anymore. Still on there, I can see it. Like an ice one? Fighting against a fucking ice. Don't worry about that. Just keep it low. Keep your hands low and you won't hit that ice. There you go. You just got another one? Yeah, we are slaying on you. I went lying. I went lying. That one just broke. Yours too? Yeah, right up by the leader again. <laughs> he had a fish on too. He's pulling good. That's alright. We're in him right now, dude. Oh, yeah. I might move that one that Barney just fucking hooked the shore anyways. Something on there. Oh yeah, I can see him flashing. Oh, nice one. Let him run if you got it. There you go. That's a nice go. fat toe. Oh yeah, got a little fight to it. You just pulled a good one out of you. Good boy. Oh, that one was 23, the one I just got. Get out of there. This is Matt. He's coming with me right now a little bit. Nice. CJ just got one too, I think. You see him. Oh, throw him up there. Yeah. In here on the shoreline trap. Lines off sideways. Could be anything at this point. Didn't take out much line. Should be able to. This one's gonna be a great episode. So many fish on this one. You might have to move our traps out a little deeper. I'd set at least one out here off the bottom. Hey. 
sure. I ain't sure. You never know. I yep, think you just say that half the time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. about time to drop the phone in the yes, water. Yes, he's on. Yes. Brandon was kicking his hole in one day. Yeah. And my phone fell out of my hand and landed on the ice. I was like, no, 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 no. If you would have broke it open one more time, it would have fell right through. I think that one Caleb caught last week was the funniest one I've ever Yeah, had. that was crazy. Everyone's been saying that online. Troy's got another one over there. I suppose I'm going to have to pick those up, I guess. Yeah. Set them for salmon. Huh? Set them for salmon. Yeah. I'll let him go back. Get that one off. And get another one on this one. What are you picking up there? Get some salmon. She was just a sailing, yes it was, just a sailing, yes. my little baby, you always love the thing. my little baby, just a sailing, just a sailing. <coughs> Jesus. Troy's got another flag. Did he? Yeah. Uh, he looks, well, who we'll say? Come on up there. No, no, let him go. My grandfather's got a flag over there. I got another one on the jig pole. Doesn't feel too awful big, but neither did the other one at first, so. Oh, not big at all. It's friggin' tiny! Let him back down for a minute. Well, as you can see, we are absolutely slaying him right now. I got two on the jig stick. Haven't really put too much time in. I'm gonna go do some more. Grandpa's got. I don't know, he's got three on the ice, so he's catching and releasing from here on out with tow guard. My uncle's got five, I believe. Uh, didn't keep them all, obviously. And uh, I got one brookie on the shoreline a minute ago, as you just saw. So, so and we got another one on the juke stick, folks. Troy is going to check another one of his flags. And I got another one on the jig stick. I got another! Got another one! Another one on the jig stick, folks. We are hammering tog today. Tell you what, National Geographic ought to come up here. Frig that friggin' Sebago. This lake. You want some tog fishing. Holy shit, this one's a nice one. This one's a nice one. Take it, take it. Uh, I'm gonna get you to take some of these up if you would. All right, well. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Oh, okay. I lost him. Did you? Yeah. Probably swimming with you. I lost him. He could be coming too, Tyler. Yeah, he is. Yeah, I was going to say, you had a ton of line out. He's probably just swimming the other direction. Oh, shit. Shit. Troy's got one. Troy's got another one out there, putting his bait down. Slaying the toe with the scooter. Uh. Slaying him. This one's gonna hit the camera on the way out. I gotta put two hands on it. You haven't got to your marker yet? Oh, yeah, no. Oh, there it is. No, yeah, 65 right feet to go. Right there. You took that, wasn't it, huh? Yeah. That sucker was screeching. Is it feeling alright? Oh, yeah. yeah. Your line's caught in the ice. Huh? Never mind, it's coming back around. Yeah, he's still on. Oh, there it is. You got more to go, keep going. Jesus, are they really the line up there? Yeah, no, there's... you will, just put it back down the hole. Here she comes. Here we go. Another one on.
I think it hooked itself. There it goes. Yep, it's on there. His line broke. Who's it? Brandon's. Oh, did it? Yeah. Brandon. Glen Cross. Oh. He just had one. He had the leader up by the hole. It broke off. We are into him today, folks. Don't, don't feel him yet, but I do. I've got a little line on my box. There you go. He got it up to the leader. Broke off. The leader broke? Yeah. No, it was a, it was a decent bit, but it wasn't a line breaker. His line yeah, just... When he comes back out to set it, tell him I'm, tell him I'm taking him to court for squatting. Yeah. There's a squatter fucking law here, you know. Huh? I said there's a squatter law. Here he comes. Get squatter. What's, what's my line? What's my line for? Oh, yeah. oh, oh. I literally jigged this like three times. Yeah. Feels like a good one too. I just threw one back, another one that was just as big as that one. Oh yeah, decent fight to him. That one Troy got's pretty big. Yeah, that's big. That's the biggest one yet. I got your beat. Well, the last toe you just saw me catch ended up being four pounds. We had another one at four, a couple at three, but the biggest catch of the day was caught by my grandfather. It was five pounds. You're going to see a picture of that as we close. Um, the weather was absolutely beautiful. Combined with the amount of fish that we caught, it was just crazy. I mean, you could stand right out there in long sleeve shirt, no gloves, no hat or nothing. I mean, that's how I jig most of the day right on my snowmobile. It was beautiful. No wind. Sun was out for part of the day. Just an absolute ice fisherman's dream, especially in the middle of January in Maine. It's crazy. Um, we hope to keep the luck that we have right now rolling into our next trip, especially nearing the Derby in about a month up there. We hope to uh, keep catching the number of fish that we are and hope to grab a couple, uh, couple stavers in the mix as well like we did. So uh, we'll bring you along on the next trip like we always do. and. Keep checking in with us.